Welcome to the Sound Off Network, where we put the T in teacher. I'm Mrs. Phelps. And I'm Mrs. Roddy. And class is now in session. Let's talk about it. So your do now for today is to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share this video. Y'all see that title? Ray J has admitted that the 2007 sex tape was a planned partnership with Kim Kardashian and Kris Jenner. Now we know that the Car Jenners have done some low down, nasty, dirty stuff. But this one right here, it takes the cake. Mrs. Phelps, tell us what's going on with this story here. My, my, my honey, Ray J has done an exclusive interview with the Daily Mail and he has finally broken his silence after about 15 years. So we're taking it all the way back to 2007 when Kim Kardashian and Ray J released their infamous sex tape. This sex tape is the tape that put Kim Kardashian on the map. On the map. We would not know who Kim Kardashian was if it weren't for Ray J, and that's for all you Gen Z kids out there. That is why you know who Kim Kardashian is through yep. Ray, J. Ray J. However, while it catapulted Kim Kardashian's career, Ray J's kind of took a nosedive afterwards. And he kind of took that L for her for all these years while she went on to make billions. He's doing well too now, but he's not doing probably as well as he could oh, be no. doing mm -hmm. if it weren't for the sex tape. But what he does is he gives us details as to how this sex tape actually came about. Now, what brought about this conversation again? We haven't heard about this sex tape in a while, but tell us what brought this out, Miss Ratty. Well, what brought this out is that you know the Kardashians have this new reality show on Hulu. They have gotten rid of keeping up with the Kardashians and now have this reality show called The Kardashians. So on this new show, Kim Kardashian and her mother created this storyline that Kanye West had returned all the sex tapes back to the family. And on this show, you can see Kim Kardashian. She's supposed to be so emotional. She's supposed to be so touched. This is the thing that's really gonna keep her children protected. Kanye served them a gift on a silver platter <laughs> by returning these infamous sex tapes. Now, we didn't even know that it was more than one sex tape, but in this reality show, we saw that there were multiple sex tapes that had been done. From this reality show, Ray J was triggered and he wanted to set the record straight. It was all a lie. It was all a lie. Plot twist. So while Kim Kardashian is sitting up there on the floor all tearful in front of her family and friends, oh, I got the sex tapes back. Chick, you've always had the sex tapes. You've always had them. According to Ray J, they were stored in a Nike box underneath your bed. He never had the sex tapes. So what was actually returned to Kim? Because we know it wasn't sex tapes. Ray J has already made that very clear. What was it that was actually returned to her? What was on the tape was just minuscule conversations that they had been having since about 2009. Not even a real explicit sex tape at all. So come to find out, Ray J drops the bomb and says that the sex tapes were a planned contract so Ms. Phelps, tell us, how did these sex tapes come about in the first place? Girl, we got Kris Jenner. Kris Jenner was one of the main people in this triangle of putting this sex tape together. Ray J said that he just kind of ran it by Kim in conversation after the Paris Hilton sex tape dropped. You know, at that time, her and Paris Hilton were really good friends, but I believe there was always a little frenemy situation going on between them where there was some competition. He thought that it might be a good idea for them to release their sex tapes. He just said it in casual conversation. Kim presents the idea to her mom, Kris Jenner, Jenner, Chris Jenner goes to talk with Vivint Entertainment who released it and boom, they signed the contract, 
tape is released. Wow. They both agreed. Vivid cannot release a sex tape without the consent of the people in it. So a leak on Vivid is just not even possible to even happen. It was not a leak. It was definitely an agreement. And Kris Jenner was involved in the planning of that. Wow. And this is what Ray J said. He said, I've never leaked anything. I have never leaked a sex tape in my life. It has never been a leak. It's always been a deal and a partnership between Kris Jenner and Kim and me. Mm. And we've always been partners since the beginning of this thing. I totally believe it because if you just look at the relationships of just all of these men that any of the Jenners or Kardashians have been with, once the relationship goes up in flames, they come out looking like the innocent one and the guy comes out Absolutely. looking like the bad guy. That is not by chance. That is good marketing, good planning, good PR, all orchestrated by Kris Jenner. And this whole time, society has been praising Kris Jenner as the momager who pushed her daughter billions. I say she's the madam who pushed <laughs> her stable to billions in prostitution. Hey, it is what it is. And you know, we can't provide information to the people without receipts, right? Right. And Ray J definitely came with his receipts with Instagram messages between he and Kim Kardashian. He even references the fact that her mom was involved. And Kim, in her response, doesn't deny anything that he said. She thought that this would be good press for him. She thought that it would make him look like the good guy, but it just was not taken that way and it did not present itself that way on television. He still looks like a jerk. I see what you're saying because she said, we are both parents now with young kids and careers and I'm sure you want to move on from this just like I do. But your manager is the person who brought this all up out of nowhere and I have a right to share how it affected me. So this is where apparently I guess the, even, the conversation even came back up, which to me is ironic because if she's always had the sex tapes from day one, why would she be concerned about a threat, a, an alleged threat from his manager of him having another sex tape? It doesn't add up to me. No, it doesn't at all. And it just really shows how greedy and slimy these Kardashians are. They were only 21 years old when this happened. And you know, a lot of times when you receive $1 million at 21, that's a whole lot of money, right? But you don't think about those long-term effects right. of these decisions that you make. How did he say that this whole sex tape scandal has affected his career? Ray J has actually kind of been known as the bad guy. You know, we always see him as the bad boy, the bad guy. But as a father now, that's just not the image that he wants to portray. And he said that he's lost out on a lot of really big opportunities like Dancing with the Stars. As an example, those are one of the opportunities that he's lost out on because of his image. None of this adds up to me and I feel like now the Kardashians are truly being exposed for the family that we've always known they were. Yeah, and what do you think uh, Ray J's real motive is for dropping this exclusive bomb? It, I believe he said it was not money motivated. Absolutely not, he wants to clear his name. Yeah. As a father, as a grown man now, allowed them to run with this narrative for years. They've gone on to make billions. billions. Let him move on with his life now. Like, if you running out of material to talk about on your show, end it. Like we thought we were done after keeping up with the Kardashians. To me it says that there's no end to what the Kardashians will do to keep their names in the lights and to keep the paychecks coming in. And to keep people talking about them. So what have we learned today class? Lesson number one. Money is wonderful to have but please be cautious of the decisions that you make because all money isn't good money. Lesson number two. Live in your truth. Living a lie just to get by is not worth it. It's better to be your authentic self and speak your truth as it is. And lesson number three, don't worship false idols. Stop praising these celebrities you see because they're so-called self-made when they're really self-laid. Self-laid. So tell us what y'all think about this. Ray J dropping this exclusive. Like the video, share the video, and don't forget to comment. Thanks for watching.